Mail King back the mid lane, back the safe lane again. Um, well, I feel like if you're watching the Major from afar, you're judging people, right? And you see these teams that you've been playing against, a lot of the EU teams bombed out completely, right? As yeah, we that, see some that stun is action correct. There. So maybe they have better ideas, or at least think they have better ideas. So some trading of damage here between No Tail and Afterlife. Uh, oh, actually, bottom lane, though. That is going to be first blood for Dream. In terms of the CS, extremely even in the mid lane for the most part here. Uh, bottom lane again, some more pressure. Cogs are going to push Soxa out. Gets off that spike carapace. And looks like he's going to be just fine. So two members of OG basically waddle back to their fountain. I don't know if you can call that the walk of shame, but uh, it doesn't feel good. Uh, Sox is going to deny himself. Okay. Thompson. Neutrals. Oh, Lorinov. Yeah. See the Thompson ult coming out. Oh, nice waning rift to dodge it. Can he dodge it again is the question here. Nope. Going to connect into the right click for Thompson. That was such a nice move. Uh, Lorinov is in Viz. Gets the illusory orb off. Dragon There's Tail to coil. follow. And yeah, that's going to be the first kill for Lorinov. For that mid laner, I should say. Yeah, let's be meta in the jungle for Dream. Level 5 right now. Looks like Sox is going to try to leech a little bit of XP here. Maybe go for a kill. All right. We have the Swashbuckle to follow as well. And, of course, Dream, not level 6, won't get Thunder anyway. So this is going to be a nice kill for OG with that Rolling Thunder. Is actually going to connect an Ayn as well. Soxa impaling in a couple seconds. See if they can turn this around on even more heroes. But Emergent has come to play as well. Cogs keeping Ayn alive for now. But there's the Shield Crash. One more right click would do it, but Thompson can't quite catch up. I, th this is simple, Matt. You hit him twice, double the chances of proccing that lucky shot. This is true. Oh, Echo Stomp into the Split Earth with Sumail's Pulse Nova doing a lot of work against Afterlife. He's going to get into the tree line, though. Has a pathway, but Lornov is here. Doesn't have Coil quite yet. Looks like the right clicks from No Tail. Nope, the Coil comes out, though, so they might be able to get a trade here, but Lornov oh, all by himself. 1v2. Split Earth being faked, but more... Reinforcements in the form of Emergent end up getting the trade that definitely benefits Gambit. Really having that good of a time, but still will be able to scale. And also, last track, I don't see any stacks. I prefer to see Dire last track so he can farm the outpost. So, Mail gets a kill. Yep, and they'll turn it into a tier one tower to fight. I mean, this is what Leshrac is all about. If you want to have, you have a bottle, you have Echo Saber, which provides you with a lot of mana, so you don't definitely need to go for it. I'm. Oh, we're going to see a hook shot though. It's going to connect on Soxa. You can see the wall come out, though, from OG as Thompson pops that ult going in. He's already going to lose a member, though. And the Cogs, this is very annoying for Pango to deal with, but the Swashbuckle ends up netting them the trade. Yeah, something that Pango does not like to play into is like Tusk, Earthshaker. Sometimes it's good, sometimes not, because you, you can block it off. You can also bounce off it, and he's top. Yeah, we're going to see the Dragon Tail, but the Echo Stomp is going to be there to counter. We have TPs coming in for OG as well, and tops in with the Lucky Shot and the Right Clicks, and Sumail's Pulse Nova are more than enough damage to get them Afterlife, and they're going to save that Tier 1 tower as a result. Kind of was impressed and not at all by Gambit. I have the mixed feelings. They did a bit better than I expected, but uh, yeah. uh, decided to swap their position. Five player, BZZ is out, Aina is in. Oh, Bango. Watch Buckle, but there's Safety the Coil on a couple of heroes, and no ult coming out from Thompson. As a result, but they're just going to use it to back off here. Earth Splitter came out as well, but they're going to find themselves a clockwork kill. Thompson continue to right click to see the now Echo Saber going to work. Double damage, or double kill for Thompson. Double damage with the double Double hit damage, from Echo double Saber. kill. Yeah, it's a yeah. quadruple. <laughs> but it did look pretty underwhelming it in the game really that I've did. seen, I will admit. It sounds cool in theory. I mean, so does the shard, the normal punch. <laughs> Probably sounds game great. defendant. Oh, as we're going to see a kill here onto Afterlife. Sumail just continuing the onslaught here is the 4K network lead for OG. All right, we see the wall from Seb into the vacuum as well. He's getting, I mean, he got a, a human version of Dragon Knight. Not the best. The blink out Afterlife. Soxa does connect on the Impale. And this is going to be a very long, drawn-out kill on Afterlife. He gets the carrier. <laughs> like, this is worth it already. <laughs> Indeed. Let's see if he gets a taunt off before his untimely death here. Got another TP. Let's go. Blank yeah, just got to wait for that cooldown. All right. He actually he could get out of this. I don't think they want to even chase other than uh, as Sumail gets a kill. But we're watching the more important chase here onto Afterlife, who has to walk the entire way around this map. Yeah, all eyes on him. All right. Blink up in four seconds. Calling Blade. So I think Soxa has just given up. <laughs> Sox is just done. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he might get a return kill. Imagine if he just dumps him now with one extra hero. Yeah. 
He has dragon form, but yeah, no well, reinforcements here. Oh my we, goodness, we Terror Blade. We, I think kills. we debated the, the yeah, observers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that one. Yeah, that, that's a giant kill. That is a giant kill. I, I'm gonna blame Afterlife here for debating all of us in the end. But then again, like, that stun, it didn't end up netting a kill, but he's been stuck here for so long. He's gonna get the dragon form off, and go. finally Lorenoff comes to help him out. But again, this is all to try to get Soxo, who's trying to TP out, and it's just gonna expend Coil to make sure that they can at least get one kill, but definitely not I a thought, good time there for Gambit. I thought Lorenoff is gonna give last hit to Afterlife. Meanwhile, all this is happening. OG takes down Roche, 5k gold lead suddenly. Bottom tower will fall, last rack with the Edict, more than enough damage. Now we even have a Lotus Orb, which is great against Lion, great against removing the Silence, the Dragon Tail stun, and most importantly, Sunder. There is BKB done on Terrorblade, going into SNY. At what point for Gambit do they want to start fighting? Is it this BKB, or do you still need more? As we're going to see a kill here top, looks like Soxa ended up taking a tumble. It's going to be a trade for Immersion, so support for support. Saxa has that Eon disc available right now. This is an item that is 100% getting This is the her. best item in the game right now, no yeah. doubt about it. Oh, Hookshot did miss, but the Rolling Thunder was set up again by the stomp as Ayn gets off his cogs, but he will die. Protect himself against the Lion Initiation, Dragonite, possibly Sunder, but with the BKB, uh -oh. you can snap the coil. The X is here. BKB Lorna pops the BKB bug. very early. Yeah, that's an unusual pickup, but it's going to be used to take out Thompson pretty easily. Is now Hookshot comes in. I'm not able to trap Seb inside those cogs, but No Tail might be the sacrifice for OG. So Gambit get a couple pretty valuable kills here, and obviously the Thompson being the, the main one. Another 10 15 minutes, and then he'll probably be favored as a. Uh, I mean, Dream, he has his BKB as well. They're actually, I mean, we'll talk about the BKB on Puck. Is he going to pop it again on Lorna? Very early, the coil. They're focusing a DD just bug. on Topson, and it looks like they should be able to take him out. Earth Splitter does come out, but it's a little bit too late. Big kill onto Topson for Gambit, and with that, OG likely will try to fall back. Soxa completely manage rate. Okay, Seb oh, gets a, nice a beautiful double. back wall into the Pulse Nova. That is two kills right off the bat, and Dream pops his BKB, now focusing on Sumail himself. Bloodstones pops, it'll keep him quite healthy. In the Thunder. end, it's a two for three. Thunder not able to get it off. So a many huge illusions. kill for OG now. And Ayn trying to walk away here, Seb. Off. Yep, with that Ion shell, ends up netting himself a double kill and an ultra kill overall for Lorenov. This was such a weird fight. You lose Topson right away, and then Seb initiates and looks really good for OG. Basically, everybody dies, but they don't have it yet. Old school silence plus a disarm combo. Yep, and it adds damage to each swash as well. It's actually crazy, crazy item. It's OG. All right, they're going to find Lorna, but he pops the BKB very early into the coil onto two. And this is going to be a quick kill, likely onto Thompson. But no, no Aghanim Scepter on Puck, so he will just roll right out of that. So they're going to turn this around with the Earth Splitter, buy back onto the Lion now. And Afterlife trying to reset. Going into length Sphere, getting very close to it. So the Blink Initiation from either Lion or Dragonite uh, will be nullified. Oh, oh that's a big into kill. the spike care pace. Beautifully done. And that is a dead puck. That is a huge kill for OG. And on the back of it, a couple more supports to kill. And now they can get second Roche. They can go for towers. They can do a lot of damage to these buildings. No buyback for anybody on Gambit. Roshan is up. I think it's a safer play to just uh, go for the barracks. Uh, Sumail already popped the edict. Uh, so half duration already gone. <laughs> Yep. They still should be able to get a, f I mean. Oh, Puck doesn't have a buyback. That's a yeah, big one. None of them have it right now, but 10 seconds left on clockwork. So it's basically Lion and Puck out of it for this fight. So it will be a set of racks in favor of OG, who, again, Gambit were starting to come back. They were. But now there was no Terrorblade in that fight. He had the meta available. All right, get off a of Rocket Flare. He might be trying to steal this Aegis here. You can see Thompson. It's off the Rolling Thunder to try to get the instant stun. He's going to do so into the oh, vacuum back, back. out of the Roach Pit. And Sumail will secure himself the Aegis. The Cheese will be taken and they'll get the Clockwork kill. Missed chance from Elven Tunic. Yep. Block spells by the Lincolns. Effective HP, I would say 11,000. 500. 11,500, yeah. I think, actually. Maybe uh, close Sumail, to 12, Pulse Nova. All right, Splitter's going to connect, and this is going to be a really easy kill on Lorenov. No buyback. You see the back wall combination, Afterlife inside there as well, but the BKB pop from Dream 
Now he has to run, but there's the bash swash buckle combination on Thompson. Too much this burst damage it. for Gambit to control. And, and GG's they call. call GG. The second Roche was spawning OG classic OG style. Pangolier on mid. Been a much better game on a Dragon Knight. He's not sitting at zero CS five minutes in. 18, almost at the top, so much better game for him. Yeah, that's true. But we'll see if he ends up in the trees again this game. Uh, that's a very important factor that we have to consider. Uh, once he gets that blink dagger, he becomes very tree happy. As Seb is going to get slowed here from Mr. Dream himself. Ayn doing a good job of blocking off, trying to give him the kill, but Ayn will take it with that brain sap. So first blood, the way of Gambit. Let's see if he can hit an arrow. This would be pretty big. He's going to be spotted, though. And now TP's coming in from Emergent. But the arrow will connect him to Ayn. So it'll pick up the support Bane. Bail even TP's. Yeah, that. Well, they give him the kill. All right, you made the you made the rotation. We'll give it to you, big boy. And I feel like DK. I know he's kind of considered one of these like boring type heroes, but I feel like there's almost no variation. In the, oh, we're gonna see Coil mid, level six onto Mister Top a third himself, hero. But this looks to be a very easy kill. He's silenced for a little bit more. Took a little bit longer than I thought, but they do find that kill on Topson in the end. And Dream has now made his way to the bot lane. And we're going to see a nightmare set up here. And with four members of Gambit, this should be a pretty easy kill. But rotation from No Tail, not really be able to provide too much, though. Bane set things up. Even Puck, like Puck these days, they don't build into Yule Scepter anymore. So they don't I mean, have way to the spell He has to be doing that, right? As Nature's Prophet all comes out, Topson trying to chase. But Immersion is there. But Sumail TPs into the midst of things. Emergent looks to be what they have their eyes set on right now. Decent blocking from Sumail to start things out. More Treants to come in. Yeah, with the Astral Step and Aether Remnant, Topson cleans them up nicely. But it usually was good because it is Topson playing. Another see Coil, Soxa. He's going to break it. But the Earth Spike is there into the right clicks and the Waning Rift of Lorinov. Nirana also gets ruined by a Coil. You can't really do too much. I'll take that. Well, Immersion's gonna run right into Sumail. No Tail is in the vicinity though. Earth Spike to follow. Afterlife. Dragon Tail's there as well. Ayn trying to put himself in decent position, but the rotation from Mr. Topson has come in. They get the Immersion kill, and now the chase is onto this Bane Elemental, who is level 6, but feels like he won't be able to get off a good Fiend's grip here. Gets off the Brain Sap to start. Topson with the Astro Step faking it a bit, but with that gush and Aether Remnant. That's a double kill for him. Can't quite get the Courier, but will likely be the tier one tower now. Now they bring the numbers. Ravage is available. Hood on Tidehunter, extremely tanky with the Nature's Prophet. They should be able to take this tower. Meanwhile, in the top lane, Afterlife trying to put some pressure. Falling into the same mistakes as last game, at least not yet. But the, tr the trees are still there, of course. Yeah, you can always fall back to the trees. Sumail yep, getting pressured, and that's gonna be enough for a kill on from Gambit again. They didn't pop it, they have a catapult wave. Ancient Apparition Blast is available. But I believe Gambit will try to defend it. They have Puck Coil, Fiend's Grip is available, and there's the Sleep on Tidehunter. Wake him up with the trees, possibly. There's no one around him. I don't know if they even want to initiate on him, though. They're gonna get a Breathe Fire off as Seb, trying to protect this catapult at all costs, even pop the Fortification, to make sure that even more damage will be applied here, but the Counter Fortification for Gambit is there. Moonlight Shadow, see if they can set something up here. Yep, they're gonna find Immersion right after that with that Dissimilate. He gets off the Hex, though, but there's the Gush, and likely one more right click. The Anchor Smash is enough from OG, so 5v4, and they get the Tier 1, despite these uh, TPs coming in for Gambit. Yeah, after no Tail. If we check his item build, he is going Hex. Never mind. Go back to No-Tail, please. I'm really No-Tail. Oh, Astral step into the Aether Remnant. They're going to be able to clean up Immersion pretty much instantly. To your doggy. <laughs> All right. Moonlight Shadow now. OG looks like they want to reinitiate into this triangle area, but there are sentries placed in the vicinity. Immersion gets off the Hex. Coming with the silence into the coil onto Topson. This looks to be an easy cleanup for Gambit. They only lose the Bane. So he can afford to play a bit more aggressively, can get out of that coil. Still no Ravage. We have not oh. seen a single After Ravage for life, 19 minutes. He is going to get destroyed here with that Ice Blast finishing him off from No Tail. But he, you know, Sumail's a little rusty. It's okay. It's okay, Lacoste. Don't need to backseat too much here. No. And a little bit of damage done to the tier two, but. With those TPs coming in from OG, they're just going to have to back now. Now top lane, Ayn again getting caught. 
and brought down. But Afterlife showing that Blink Dagger into the Dragon Tail. Earth Spike there's falling, the but there's the Ravage. First one of the game, but Sumail still dies. Buyback down into the Bane. Thompson popping that BKB step, getting slowed perpetually. And he gets stuck inside that core. The Kraken Shell does activate, but this is going to be too much damage to survive. So a two for two with the buyback coming on the Bane. But again, they two still might go in. For two cores. Arrow, this will arrow. Yep, this will be a dieback out of the Bane oh, Elemental. Bane, yeah, 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 okay. Bane Ult destroys him, and now the chase is on potentially. But the Waning Rift from Lornov has very little mana to work with. Still has his BKB available. Soxa looks to be fine. First Ravage. Decent Ravage, you know, just overall. It's. Uh, the whole team was not around. I love the aggression. Oh, gush oh, into arrow. It. The random ass sentry in the river is going to be the death of afterlife. But Sumail working towards a satanic now, and he is starting to get quite large. Top net worth in the game by far. That satanic gives him pretty much the second life. Thompson. Yeah, he's getting get initiated, initiated, on. initiated on. But there's the Soxa. Yules into arrow, setting it up himself with the Aether Remnant to take off the Nightmare. And that is going to be a dead lion. Tops and pops a BKB chasing Dream right now, but he's in the cover of the Tier 2 tower. Ravage in five. Yep, Seb pops that Shiva's again. This time not on creeps. It's, wow, they just blow up Afterlife. Wrong place, wrong time. But Coil onto three heroes. Lorna pops his BKB, but they can't really follow this up with anything. Now that their DK is dead. As we yeah, see. the coach is not very happy about this <laughs> performance. I thought that was a picture, but it was actually a real <laughs> was not. Very was not stonewall moving. there. You know, Thompson able to take out Emerge, and again, the support duo here for Gambit are just, just food for OG this game. Remember when it was eight, maybe even more? Yeah. So OP. Uh-oh, Afterlife in the trees again, but they're blown up! He doesn't have cover. Okay, now he's surrounded <laughs> by trees, and it'll be the death of him yet again. <laughs> so again, that's a very low cooldown on the Orchid. Doesn't care about the BKB start. usage anymore. Six second cooldown, uh, six second uh, duration, and uh, with Tide Hunter, Dragon Scale plus some extra damage from the Treants, they go for the high ground. Yeah, and this is when things get really scary. Oh, the jump in from Seb, but he gets slept right away. Arrow's gonna connect, and again, another easy kill on a support. OG looked very prime and ready to take this series 2-0, and yet another support. I feel like a broken record this game, but I mean, it is what it is. SNY picked up on Drow. We'll see how much difference it actually makes. They have to give this up. There is a siege there as well. A, a blast coming in, so we have to see if Seb wants to actually jump in, but no, they're not gonna connect with anything here. Uh, no skewer, nothing, so can't really do too much unless OG clicks the mouse to attack the tier right. 4 towers. There we they go. They can do it. Afterlife with the initiation. The BKB popped afterwards as well. Seb looks perfectly fine, though. Sumail jumps in with his BKB, and they're just destroying the supports again. Lion is the first to fall. Seb actually getting low here, but I feel like they've expended everything on this Tide Hunter. But there's the gush with that AoE Ags coming to fruition. And in the back line again, so Malin, well, oh, he's in trouble. He's they do find dead. a kill here. Very big kill, but will it be enough is the question. Dream trying to maneuver himself back into his fountain. Gonna get right click. The Shiva should connect with that gush as well. Oh, he even catches the arrow. They try to go on a Tide Hunter. They try to burst him, maybe force a Ravage while they have their BKBs. Yeah. <laughs> Are they fountain farming from that far range? That's that's pretty impressive. All right, smoke out from I. All right, I think we're going to see Fiend's Grip. I think we're going to see it. All right, the jump in from Afterlife. Fiend's Grip. Oh, wait. No, he didn't get it off. He gets Ravage on the side. And the A Blast will just destroy poor old Loranov. Fiend's Grip still online, still available to use. Will he use it? They call GG. They did not manage to get a single ulti off. 